Hello again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Joseph Catron. Today's task is to create a new vault and verify that it is accessing communicating with the Solid Network License Manager. The scope of this video assumes that you have installed Microsoft SQL Server and you've installed Enterprise PDM. If either one of those criteria are not met, Feel free to jump over to the other videos on our YouTube channel here. There's one for installing Microsoft SQL 2014, and there's another for installing Enterprise PDM, the server components. First step is going to be to open the Enterprise PDM administration tool. So under all programs, SolidWorks Enterprise PDM, you should see an admin tool. Now I'm also on the server. This client is also the server in my case. So I see a couple of extra programs here that you might not see. I've got the archive server and the database server because again, those are running on this machine. In most client scenarios, you would only have administration and view setup. We're going to go ahead and open the administration tool. Should look something like that with a computer name specified there. If the computer name is not listed, then the first step is to add server. Go ahead and point to the archive server. Now, if you're in a multiple location environment where there are replicated archive servers, this would be the local server. If I have locations in Houston and in Dubai and I'm installing in Houston, I would point to the Houston archive. The database may be at either one of those locations or at a separate location. I just want to point to my local archive server. Once you've completed that, the server will show here as a little desktop icon with a screen and you can right click on that to accomplish a few tasks, one of which is create new vault. So this is another pretty self-explanatory wizard. We'll go ahead and choose next on the welcome screen, give the vault a name and a description. Choosing next lets me verify that the archives are going to go for this vault, the archives are going to go to J Catrona lap into the archives folder. So essentially this is telling you that it's going to put the archives in the place you specified during install for this vault. I'll go ahead and choose next. The new vault wizard also wants to know where the SQL database is hosted. So you can go ahead and type that computer name here, whether that's at the same location or across the world, we're going to point to that database server by name. Choose next. Choose a date and language format. Choose next. We specified a default admin password during the install. This screen is saying, is it okay to use that same password? I'll say yes and accept. There's a few different initial vault configurations you can start with. If you're going to do a custom vault, it might be a good idea to start with empty. That way there are no extraneous data cards, workflows, variables that you're not using, that are not specifically meant for your company. The default would bring in a host of default data cards and default system settings, a bills and materials, a workflow, etc. And then the SolidWorks Quick Start is just a subset of the default items. So we'll go ahead and choose the default. The next screen shows me exactly what is included in that default. We've got three bills of materials, a handful of cards, a couple of search cards, and the optional tasks are available for addition. I'll choose next and finish. Finally, we'll get a confirmation screen and can see that this task has completed. From there, we can close the new vault creation wizard. A new icon has shown up little database icon there under that vault showing that that vault is hosted on that server. If I expand that out, I need to accept the license agreement for client usage and say, okay, there, and then this will be the option to log in to the admin tool. Now this is not logging in as a user to put files in and work with folders and files. This is logging in on the admin tool, the settings. So I'll go ahead and specify my admin password there, expand that to see a list of settings. There's the three bills of materials. There's the handful of data cards that came in with the default vault. So now that we have a vault created on the server, 
And again, this task of creating a vault can be done from any client. This administration tool, start all programs, enterprise PDM administration, that tool will be available on any machine where there is a client installed. For that reason, it's often a good idea to install a client on the server, just so that you can conveniently access the admin tool. Now, the next step is to verify that this vault has licenses. If I expand out those settings, there is a license node. Right click, open, and if you've used EPDM in the past, you'll notice this dialog is different for 2015. Rather than br browsing for a text file, in 2015, I need to point to a solid network license server installation. We've got that installed on Joe's laptop here, but the dialog is clear. Enter the license server name in the form port number at computer name. If I press OK there, there's a check that's run in the background. If it doesn't just pop up like that, uh, you can be assured that there's a communication problem. Likewise, if it does just if that dialog just disappears and you see the new server listed there, you can verify that communication was successful. This message indicates that you might need to update active clients. We'll say OK to that and we can browse back in there to verify that we have a total of five licenses on our network uh, license manager. So that's it for creating a vault and activating it by connecting to the SNL or pointing it to the SNL. That's a little bit of a new process for 2015. So hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to leave us a comment if you have any questions or suggestions or would like to see a specific video in the future. Thanks for watching.